Welcome back, everyone. We're at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Viva Don King 2. At first fight, guys, I'm telling you, we had a big-time knockout. And now we've got the heavyweights stepping into the ring. These are some good young heavyweights. This guy, Trevor Bryan, who's right now 3-0 and from Albany, New York, is a guy I think when I was speaking early on, BJ, I think this is the kind of guy that in 12, 18 months from now, he'll be... He'll be someone to reckon with if he continues. That's the guy in the, right over here in the black in the red corner. Uh, I don't know much about Hector Hodge, who's undefeated from Miami, but I do know Brian is a, is a busy guy, and he could he, he's going to apply some pressure. This should be interesting. He goes by the uh, nickname the American Dream. Uh, we got the flag flowing, and it looks really good. I guess we're ready to get this thing started. Let's go now to our ring announcer, Big Dave Lemon. Big Dave Lemon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next bout of the evening. This one in the heavyweight division, scheduled for four rounds of boxing. First, in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks, okay. weighing in at 213 and a half pounds. Hold His record, place. one win, no losses, from Miami, Florida, Hector, ready for war, Hodge. Hodge. He looks and in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, he is a 2012 Olympic alternate and a seven-time national amateur champion with a record of three wins and no losses, two by a knockout. He weighed in at 225 and one quarter pounds. He is from Albany, New York, now living in Pompano Beach, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor the Dream Brian. Brian. Your judges for this bout, Mr. Michael Pernick, Mr. Bill Ray, and Mr. Rocky Young. Four rounds of heavyweight action in this fight. Trevor the American Dream Brian and Hector Hodge. Just looking at these guys, this is going to be a good Referee one. is Frank Gentile. You know, Hector Hodge looks a lot like Jason Taylor with a beard, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> that could be bad news for Trevor if this is a Jason Taylor. But I don't think Brian is a, is a heavyweight to keep your eye on. And Hodge is a local guy from Miami, Florida right here. Southpaw. Southpaw. Brian goes right in at the body. And the head. Oh, he's putting a lot of power to those punches. Yeah, he is. He's set on his feet really nicely. You know, Hodge is giving him a lot to look at when he's coming. Oh, in. Nice oh, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it, gentlemen. Wow. Sorry, Jason. Trevor, American Dream, Bryant. Wow, and Hector is out like a light. As I said earlier, this is a kid that's got, he's a comer. He's a comer. Hopefully Hector's okay. The doctors are around him and he's in quite a bit of hands. That was 34 seconds, guys, into round one. The American dream. Very deceptive punch, too. I didn't see him. Yeah, and actually, he backed him up. Hodge did a, a big mistake. He backed up straight into the ropes. When you get to the ropes, Vince, you have nowhere to go. He was completely squared up. He got caught with a perfect left hook right on the chin. The punch on the chin, here we sit on the monitor right here. The punch on the chin is actually the one that puts the lights out. So he pressures him, he comes forward, there it is right on the point of the chin. And that's the punch where you see the brain and the oxygen become disconnected for a split second. And that's what happens as a result of that. So you know, we call it, that's when the, sw the light switch goes out. So <laughs> that, that brief moment. He's talking and he's, he's moving, so. That's a good sign for uh, Hector Hodge. Yeah, it is. It's tough wow. when you see someone go down face first and stay down like that for a sustained period of time. He was on the canvas for about 45 seconds a minute. The doctors were taking a very good look at him to make sure he was all right. And, uh, you know, it looks like he's okay now, and uh, thank goodness for that. Yeah, thank God for that. You're right. You know, and you know what bothers me a lot, BJ, is as, as we got a few minutes here, you say our sport is dangerous. But I've been to a couple of MMA for matches where the, it's like, bot, like bag gloves and elbows. I don't get it. I don't get the comparison, man. You know, we're safety-minded, and uh, this this is um, I'm just happy to see 
that uh, they're moving Hector around a little bit, as you can see on the monitor. Yeah, again. Comes the knockout again. It's the right hand that lays them and a picture perfect left hook. Wow. Wow. And it's just a rookie mistake, honestly. A guy with not a lot of experience going straight back against the ropes. Both feet are actually together, so he has no leverage on his punch. Both feet are together, parallel, and he tries to shoot a punch, lowers his right hand, and gets caught perfectly, and uh, you know, he'll go back to the drawing board and learn, or he'll find another profession, because this is a tough way to make a living like that. They're giving a good hand here. Victor Hodge definitely was game in this bout. But Trevor, American Dream Bryant, now that makes three out of four of his fights KOs, and that may be the quickest one there at 34 seconds. Impressive uh, power. Yeah. Yes. And I need to stay away from Jason Taylor for a little while, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a great bout. Let's go to wow. ring announcer Big Dave Lemon for the result. A lot of fans in the audience here tonight for Trevor Bryant. Bryant's trained by Stacy McKinley out of Detroit. And Stacy has been a real veteran for the last 20 years with some quality guys, so, including Mike Tyson. So kind of knows what he's doing. Let's go now to the ring. Jose Santiago is standing by with our winner. All right, Trevor I Bryant. am standing in the ring with Trevor the Dream Bryant. Man, that was an amazing, perfect left hook. What did you see in the fight? What did you see that made you throw that perfect left hook? I seen that you came out, he was a southpaw. Southpaw, you always pressure southpaws. Always keep coming to him, throwing punches, never let down. Now, a lot of people say, don't go into a fight looking for a knockout. Didn't look like you were looking for a knockout. You had an opportunity, you landed the punch. Is that your thought? I wasn't looking for the knockout. We trained for the knockout. We in shape for this. We lit his shit. All right, I'm hang, hanging out with the dream. You're still bouncing up and down. I'm sure you were in the locker room ready to go four. Didn't know it was going to happen this fast. Looks like you're ready to go another four. Ready to go again, man. Like I said, four rounders, I'm done with this. We're going to 10 rounders next. I'm ready. All right, you're ready for 10 rounders. Talk to us a little bit about your career. Where do you see yourself? Obviously, you want to see yourself uh, being a champion, a heavyweight champion of the world, bringing those titles back to America. Just give us a timeline. How soon do you see that happening? I'm young. I'm 20, only 22. I mean, I, I see it in two years, two, three years the most. That, that's it. Two or, two or three years, might have ourselves a heavyweight champion. That's Trevor the Dream, Brian. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go back ringside. Back to you, Vince. Well, thank you so much there, Jose. Great interview. And I tell you, that's a fine-looking young man. And you're right, at only 22 years of age at this point, uh, this young man has got a great future ahead of him. He does if he keeps his, you know, if he keeps his feet on the ground, his hair's out, out of the clouds, and, and he puts... You know, we, kind of, that work ethic is what counts. You got to want it, and you got to be passionate and driven about it. And if he can keep that, that, that passion he has, that work ethic, and not wait on the date, work for the date. Because I, I know a lot of guys that after a couple of fights are looking for 10-round fights. 